This is Kevin McMurray with TrackingSharks.com. Today we are covering the first known fatal shark attack of 2023. Manuel Lopez, 53, was scuba diving in Tobera Bay, Mexico. Lopez was collecting Axe Trip, which is a mollusk normally collected by the diver via a surface air supply. Surface supplied air is essentially a scuba setup, but without tanks. Instead, a compressor pumps air to the diver via a collection of hoses connected to the diver along with ropes. In this area, the diver searched the seafloor at a depth of 36 to 59 feet, 11 to 18 meters, and sometimes pull the boat along the surface using their supply lines. The mollusks are pulled from the ocean floor, which generates turbulence and sounds that could attract sharks. Most divers wear black wetsuits and may appear to be sea lions, which is a major food source for white sharks. My sources said Lopez was diving in the open ocean around 11.30 a.m. January 5th with two people on board his boat when he was attacked by a white shark. Quote, he was diving when the animal attacked him, impressively ripping off his head and biting both shoulders. End quote. Joseph Burnell, who represents the fisherman, said. He went on to say the local divers had been warned about the presence of sharks in the area and most had not been out for several days. Thousands of fishermen have been staying on shore due to the presence of large white sharks. A stipend of 7,200 pesos per year is available to fishermen to supplement their income. However, the amount is not livable when there is no money coming in from fishing. The shortage of the seafood has apparently created a demand in the good, and with his economic future at stake, Lopez chose to dive. White sharks are most prevalent in the Sea of Cortez, a.k.a. the Gulf of California, during the months of December and January when pregnant females enter the area. The sharks will often search for fat-filled sea lions to feed upon due to their high caloric count. Several fishermen have stated that they have inadvertently caught sea lions in their fishing nets. In several cases, when they have a sea lion, white sharks will often come to their boats as they are pulling in their nets. The sharks will hang around until the sea lions are released and then feed or hunt the pinniped, leaving the nets and boats alone. Some fishing organizations are calling for the government to purchase shark shields or other devices that emit electrical impulses that have been shown to deter white sharks. In addition, some local biologists have recommended divers not wear black wetsuits as they can make the wear look like a seal. They have also suggested painting white stripes on the suits and the pattern of the poisonous coral snake. Another recommendation is to wear a second scuba mask on the back of the head. The theory behind this is sound. Since sharks are ambush predators, they could be less likely to strike if the intended prey were watching them. This is the third fatal shark attack in the area. Victor Estrella, 56, was diving for scallops February 12th. 2022 off Sonora, Mexico, when he was killed. Just like Lopez, he was using surface-supplied air. His dive tender saw the hoses moving erratically and began pulling his partner from the seabed. As Estrella neared the surface, the tender had to fight off a large white shark that was biting his friend. Unfortunately, the shark fatally wounded the man. Another diver was killed as he jumped in the water in December 2008. Nahim Aguilera, was killed shortly after he entered the water. His friends saw him floating on the surface and were afraid he was having a medical emergency. When they attempted to pull him on board, they realized a shark had severed his left leg, torn open his abdomen, and severely injured his right thigh. In addition to the fatal injuries, it also appeared he had a dislocated shoulder and injuries on his left hand indicating that he may have tried to fight the shark. In 2012, A white shark reported to be 20 feet long, 6 meters, was caught in the gulf in a fisherman's net. The shark was so large, it took a 22-foot-long, 75-horsepower boat over an hour to tow it into shore. What would you do if you made your living by diving in the ocean? Let us know in the comments.
If you like the video, be sure to like and subscribe. You can buy us a beer by giving us a super thanks or get early access to videos and support us at patreon.com slash tracking sharks. Follow us on Facebook or join our group at facebook.com slash tracking sharks. You can find more information on shark attack bites at trackingsharks.com. Thank you for watching and I hope you get wet soon.